Thank you, everyone. Uh, glad to be here. I'm also really passionate about talking about wound care. It was great to see the Vaporox guys up, uh, seeing the other skin sub folks, the Modulum guys earlier. Uh, as everyone's pointing out, wound care is a, is a huge market. It's a big opportunity, and it's a horrible disease that impacts a lot of people. We'll go through that today, but we're leading the charge on wound care technology, uh, energy devices in wound care, and we'll talk a little about that, but we'll also talk about the other applications for Shockwave and for our near ultrasound products and other energy devices. Oh, wrong way. There we go. So we, uh, we at Sandwave are a publicly traded company. We've, um, we did a recent acquisition of a company called Ultramist. Uh, it brought our ultrasound devices. It also brought us a sales team of 25 W2s. It brought us 900 locations where we have the existing footprint of the ultrasound device to then cross-sell in the Dermapaste device, which I'll talk about. It brought us a reimbursement team. It also allowed us to license uh, amniotic tissue products from Cellularity. Cellularity is the old cell gene guy, so we now are the exclusive on BioVance and Interfill. Interfill is an interaugmental filler, so we have a full portfolio We'll be adding an advanced dressing line called Zalta later this summer to round out the portfolio. And, and that's not all. We have more coming. So we'll keep adding to the, the bag of tricks that we have. Uh, regenerative medicine, it's really about using energy, putting it in the body to help move a chronic wound from a stalled state to, a, to an acute state. And that's really what we do. We jumpstart the wounds. We're not the silver bullet. Anyone who gets up and tells you they're the silver bullet in wound care um, I wouldn't believe it. The, the way of the future is going to be combining the different therapies, combining the different mod modularities to, to get a solution. And that's really what we're, we're there for is we're that front end. We're the front end that gets the wound moving in the right direction. Uh, you've seen this before. It's a huge market. Diabetic foot ulcers, uh, venous leg ulcers, pressure ulcers. Uh, it's not going to change. It's not going away. Um, it's a global issue. Uh, they're treated in the 2,200 wound centers around the country. There's a lot of change going on in the space. In fact, this week, they're coming out with some FDA and CMS things on amniotic tissue, which um, luckily we're on the good side of, but a lot of other companies are going to be on the bad side of. And you saw earlier they talked about what's happening in the renal care space where they're moving to episodic care. That's coming to wound care one year from now. So we're one year behind the renal guys in the wound centers. So everyone needs to really figure out how they get that cost to treat and close the wound to a, to a point that's workable. Amputations, I'll touch on real briefly, 185,000 a year. The stat I want you to remember is 70% of those people who get an amputation will die in five years. The morbidity rates are out of control. Our whole company is about save a limb, save a life. And that's really what drives everyone in my company. Shockwave technology, it's all around us, sonic booms, it's about changing um, uh, pressure in, a, in an elastic medium. What we've done is taken that, and, uh, and Shockwave's been around treating lithotripsy kidney stones for 30 years. They used it to break up the rocks. What we've done is we've taken the technology, and with our over 150 patents, modulated how you can use the shockwave to do different things within the body. The intensity of the waves, how deep they go, the shape of the waves, where the focal energy volume is. That's the key to the success and why we have other vertical applications we'll talk about in a bit. Um, this is the science guy slide. It's a high energy wave followed by a negative pressure wave. Think of a sponge. You're squeezing a sponge, then you're stretching a sponge. It's causing a micro trauma at the cellular level, which causes the growth factors to trigger and sends a signal, hey, something happened here. I need to start working on, on it. And so it wakes it up, back to that stalled example. It takes it from stalled to move it in the right direction. Uh, we have our FDA approvals. We're in 200 locations with the Dermapace. It's a quick, fast, effective treatment. Our study, we don't do case studies. We do clinical studies. 336 patient, double-blinded study, statistically significant to get things closed. Um, we're seeing even better results because we've upped the protocols uh, based on some international data that we've rolled out. Perfusion increases, that's probably the number one thing that happens is that we help 
and we can show in a lot of the, the clinical work, we, we bring that blood flow. And you can't heal a wound without blood flow. You can't heal a wound if it's infected. And we treat both of those. The product we acquired, Ultramist, was uh, a near ultrasound device. It's to use to help keep that wound bed clean. It's to get rid of the bacteria, and it also promotes uh, inflammation modulation and, and growth factors. We're going to hit our 1,000th installation around May 20th. So it's, it's out there. It's why we're at 25 million in revenue, up from 5 million last year, on our way to 100 million, because we're rolling out these energy products to really make a big bang in the wound care industry. But we also have other applications. That's really why I'm here, is to talk to a lot of other people that are in the spaces that could be using Shockwave. And so one of the companies that you hear about in Shockwave is called Shockwave Medical. And they don't have all the patents um, on using Shockwave to treat PAD and obstructions and occlusions. Uh, we have some of those. We're now looking at how we can now partner with others and bring that to market. We both have the extracorporeal, which is outside, and intracorporeal inside. There's minor differences, but um, I feel good that they've kind of led the way, because now it's a lot easier to follow. Infection and biofilm, we work with the Center for Biofilm Engineering at Montana State. We've had s tremendous success on treating biofilm and disrupting it, um, both uh, in, on the bacteria side, four, five, and six log reductions of staph, and other indications. So uh, the area that we think is probably the, the greatest area, both is the osteomyelitis, which is in wound care, something that no one has really figured out how to heal, and then implants infections. And that's something that we can help on uh, in the Center for Biofilm Engineering at Montana State's got a whole model for us to go through and, and work with them on. Again, all the things I'll talk about are have patent protection on them. Um, and our long-tailed patent protection and have the little baby patents that can come off it too. Lung treatment, that was filed recently. Um, again, it was spurred on by the COVID, but we do know internationally we've had some success. Um, one of our board members, Tom Price, uh, former head of HHS, uh, really was pushing us uh, when this was coming on and uh, we've had very good success. Uh, we're far, we're a long ways away though. I, that's not one that's going to happen next week or next month. That's a, that's a, a longer term one, but it looks promising in early stages. Um, I'll get into stem cells and vaccines for a moment uh, as I'm running out of time. Uh, we do have stem cell proliferation uh, in the manufacturing side up to tenfold increase. And then on site, just because think of the vascularization, stem cells need to be fed, we feed them with the vascularization side. So when you're delivering things like that, it's important. But I would say that the, the other piece here is that drug delivery, um, the receptivity of the cells increases after being shocked. And so that's one of the things that we're very interested in pursuing, just finding the right partners for that. Um, cleaning and de decamination, that, that we, um, it's like taking medical devices and making sure they're sterile. The cosmetic applications is, is really an exciting area for us, not just for the dermapace where we have scar tissue, um, fixing that, I think C-sections where we can get rid of them. Uh, I'm a walking example. I, have a, I had a bicep surgery. I treated one, not the other. There's no scar on one. There is on the other. Um, so the scar modulation is a, is a huge market that we think is going to be Good for us. One of the competitors, Soliton, was acquired by Allergen just yesterday for $550 million. Pre-revenue, but they did have approval for, cleared for um, cellulite and tattoo removal. Um, and we're, we have a device that has clearance profile is the name of the device, it, and it can treat liposuction, skin rejuvenation, cellulite. The Ultramist product has actually uh, been tested out on facials, uh, post laser peel facials to, for pain reduction and collagen growth. And so that's an area that we are close to signing a distribution deal on and bringing that to market. With that, a uh, lot going on at the company. We're excited there's a lot of other wound companies here because it, uh, it is an area where we can all work together. So with that, I'll be open to questions in the other room. Thank you.